about a project titled melanoma segmentation and labeling affected area using image contrast UNET model. So now coming to the introduction part, the integration of melanoma segmentation and labeling affected area using the image contrast UNET model represents a significant step forward in the field of medical imaging and dermatology. Its automated and accurate segmentation capabilities hold the potential to improve early detection rates, leading to better patient outcomes and ultimately contributing to the fight against skin cancer. The image contrast UNET leverages the contrast information in the images to identify subtle variations in pigmentation and texture, which are critical indicators of melanoma presence. By learning from a large data set of annotated skin images, the model can effectively this concern the affected area from the surrounding healthy skin. So now coming to the objective part for this project is to provide the dermatologists, dermatologists and medical professionals with a valuable tool for rapid and reliable melanoma detection. By automating the segmentation and labeling process, the image contrast UNET model can assist healthcare practitioners in making well-informed decisions leading to earlier diagnosis and more effective treatment strategies. Additionally, this advancement in medical imaging can contribute to better patient outcomes, improved resource allocation and a positive impact on public health efforts to combat skin cancer. The integration of image contrast as a key component in the model aims to enhance its ability to capture subtle variations in pigmentation and texture that are indicative of melanoma presence. This approach enables the automated system to identify melanoma with a higher degree of accuracy and consistency compared to traditional methods. So now coming to the requirements part, we have two types of requirements that are hardware requirements and software requirements. In hardware requirement, operating system as Windows is required, processor i5 and above, minimum 4 GB of RAM is required, hard disk 20 GB and above. Coming to the software requirement part, Python IDE L that is 3.7 version is required. Now coming to the methodology part, first load image contrast UNET model. The first step in the process is to load the image contrast UNET model which has been trained to perform melanoma segmentation and labeling of the affected areas. This model is a deep learning architecture designed to leverage image contrast information for more accurate and reliable detection of melanoma and skin images. Second, upload ICIS test image. So here ISIC is a model that is after uploading the contrast UNED model, we proceed to upload an ISIT which stands for International Skin Imaging Collaboration Test Image. The ISIC dataset contains a collection of labeled skin images including melanoma and non-melanoma cases. This test image will be used to evaluate the model's performance in detecting and segmenting melanoma affected regions in a real world scenario. By uploading the ISIC test image, we are preparing to upload the loaded model to this specific case. Third, affected area calculation. With the ISIC test image uploaded, image contrast even ED model to perform melanoma segmentation and calculate the affected area. The model will process the image, identify the region suspected to be melanoma lessons and accurately outline the boundaries of the affected area. By calculating the area of the segmented region, we can quantify the extent of melanoma presence in the test image. So now fourth, upload PH2 test image. In the next step, we repeat the process by uploading a PH2 that is PH square test image. The PH2 data set is another well known data set for melanoma and non melanoma skin lesson classification. Uploading a PH2 test image allows us to evaluate the model's performance on a different data set and further validate its ability to accurately detect and segment, segment melanoma in various skin images. Fifth, using image and combining with sixth, affected area calculation for PH2 test image. So here once the PH2 test image is uploaded, the loaded image contrast UNED model is applied to perform melanoma segmentation and calculate the affected area in this particular case. Similar to the ISIC test image, the model will identify and outline the melanoma affected regions in the PH2 image. The area of the segmented region will be calculated, providing valuable insights into the size and extent of melanoma presence in this specific test image. 
so no, so in fifth using image we can see the area of the segmented region will be calculated providing valuable insights into the size and extent of melanoma presence in the specific test image so now coming to the seventh part isic and ph2 comparison finally we compare the segmentation results and affected area calculations between the isic and ph2 test images this comparison allows us to evaluate the model's performance across different data sets assessing its generalization capabilities and robustness by analyzing the segmentation results and comparing the affected area sizes we can gain insights into how well the model performs on distinct can image data sets and identify any potential variations or challenges that might arise in different scenarios so now coming to the execution part to execute the project first we need to open the code folder so here we have a folder named as isic in this we are containing two folders over here that is mask images and train images in these two folders we are having images of mask and train so second folder named as isic test images and this also we are containing some images for isic for training, testing it another folder named as models and this we are containing dot and py files and dot h5 files which contain the deep learning algorithms information these dot h5 files can be loaded into the project code during run time to utilize the trained model for various tasks such as making predictions on new data performing specific operations and another folder named as ph2 in this we are again containing a two folder that is mask images and train images and in these two folders we are containing images over here for training and for mask another folder is named as ph test images in this we are containing images over here for ph testing and here are two two files that are melanoma segmentation and unit so these two are the python files which are containing the python script in it and here this is the run dot bat file instead of executing the programming command line interface we created windows bat file to execute the project now to run the project double click on run dot bat file to execute the project so here this is the graphical user interface with this we are interacting with the program now click on load image contrast unit model button to load unit model for getting the output so here on this screen unit model loaded and we can see experiment result on both data set So now click on upload ISIC test image button to upload test image for getting the output. So suppose here I am selecting this image. And now click on open button to load this image. So here on this screen you can see that the image has been loaded over here. And now click on affected area calculation button to get the output. So here you can see that some images had have been loaded over here. So here in all these images you can see that first image is the here this is, this image is the original image and here this is the segmented image which detected segmented part and the label it and here you can see in the third image that is that it has been marked over here so this is the next predicted segmented image of this image so now closing these all images now click on upload ph2 test image button to upload ph2 image so here i am selecting this image over here and now click on open button to load the image so here you can see that the image has been loaded over here and now click on affected area calculation button to get the output so here on this screen you can see that we have got two images over here so in this first image you can see that again this is the original image and here this is the segmented image of the original image and this has been the labeled image for the segmented image so now closing this images mm. now click on isic and ph2 comparison button to get the output so here you can see that we have got the output over here we can see performance of image contrast unit model on both data set and similarly you can upload and test with other images so now closing this window 
and similarly you can see the graph over here that is these are the algorithm names over here and this is the graph for image contrast unit performance graph on is ic and ph2 they are blue line and these colors are show the algorithm names over here so now coming back to the conclusion part overall melanoma segmentation and labeling affected area using image contrast unit model holds great promise in revolutionizing melanoma diagnosis and management it's a success not only systems from its technical capabilities but also from its potential to make a positive impact on public health efforts to combat skin cancer with continued research development and validation this technology can become an invaluable asset in the fight against melanoma improving patient outcomes and contributing to the advancement of medical imaging and dermatology moreover the model's consistency and accuracy minimize the risk of misdiagnosis promoting early detection and improving patient outcomes for updates on latest project videos please visit through projects youtube channel and subscribe